Welcome to A and Dam Awesome Animals. Hello, everyone. Today we will learn a few interesting facts about the Persian cat breed, and we will travel in time to Persia. Please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our weekly videos about pets. The Persian cat is a long-haired breed of cat characterized by its round face and short muzzle. It is also known as the Persian long hair in the English-speaking countries. The first documented ancestors of the Persian were imported into Italy from Iran around 1620. Purebred cats closely followed the creation of the first kennel clubs in Europe in the mid-19th century. The world's first cat show was held in London's Crystal Palace in 1871. The first purebred Persians arrived in the United States around 1875. The rise of the cat breeding houses on both sides of the Atlantic at the turn of the 20th century was largely driven by the popularity of the Persian considered one of the earliest pedigreed cats. Eye color is related to coat color. For instance, white Persians have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes. Other solid-colored Persians have brilliant copper eyes. Silver and golden Persians have green or blue eyes, and so on. Persians have long, thick coats with individual hairs from four to six inches in length. The colors of their coat run the full spectrum from solid snowy white to wild, multi-tone combinations of tabby patches and more. Then there's the face. Unlike Egyptian or Siamese cats with long, sleek noses, Persians have flat, open faces with tiny button noses. Their richly colored eyes, close set against the sweet nose, look extra big and expressive. The curved, pansy shape of their cheeks accents their small, triangular mouths. Persians have compact bodies with short, heavy-boned legs and medium-length tails. The dignified Persian cat is known for being quiet and sweet. Although Persians tend to be relaxed and easygoing, they also command an air of royalty. They might not be quick to hiss or scratch, but that doesn't mean they won't become annoyed when bothered by loud children or pets. Persians are popular for more than their good looks. They're also exceptionally friendly for a cat. Persians will run to the door to greet visitors and even come when they're called by name. A doggy trick that most cats feel is beneath them. Persians are also known to be talkative, chatting with their owners in a sing-song meow. But don't get the idea that Persians are overly active animals. But that's just fine with Persian fans. Their laid-back, lap-napping style means that Persians are less likely to hop up on counters and rummage through cabinets searching for food. Like many breeds, the Persian cat's origin is a mystery. According to some sources, long-haired cats have existed in the Middle East for thousands of years. Although research indicates that the kitties have genetics in common with cats from Western Europe, nobody quite knows when or how the rest of the world discovered Persian cats. One popular version is that the luxurious furred feline was introduced to Western Europe by an Italian named Petra de la Valle. De la Valle was a famous nobleman who journeyed extensively throughout the Holy Land, the Middle East, Northern Africa, and India. In 1620, De la Valle passed through Persia, now known as Iran, and took a liking to the exotic long-haired gray cats he spotted at a bazaar. He purchased four pairs of them and brought them home with him to Europe. Of course, sailors, travelers, or merchants might have also carried Persians with them from the Middle East to the continent. As I mentioned before, Persians took London by storm when the breed was showcased in the world's first organized cat show in 1871. The day-long exhibit also featured Siamese cats, a Scottish wildcat, and manxes, among other exotic felines, proving that cats were popular long before the internet. The event even drew more than 20,000 visitors. It also shouldn't surprise anyone that a Persian kitten won the Best in Show award. Sometime after 1895, Persians were brought to the United States. In 1906, the Cat Fanciers Association was formed in America, and a Persian was one of the first cats registered. Today, the Persian is one of the most popular cats in the United States. After its coat, the Persian's most distinctive characteristic is its flat face. However, the breed hasn't always had a squished visage. Persians once had a more pronounced muzzle, but in the 1950s, a genetic mutation caused the batch of kittens to be born with crunched features. Some kitties called traditional or doll face, Persians still look like their pointy featured ancestors. Others have a peaky face or an ultra face, which describes the kind of smushed and mild the Persian is known for today. The Cat Features Association views the peak or ultra face Persian as the new breed's modern standard. However, it comes with a price. 
Persians with this feature have runny eyes, labor breathing, and often struggle to eat their food. Recently, a 6x8.5 foot artwork that's purported to be the world's largest cat painting sold at auction for more than $820,000. The late 19th century oil portrait is called My Wife's Lover, and it once belonged to a wealthy philanthropist who commissioned an artist to paint her vast assortment of Turkish Angoras and Persians. Other popular Persian paintings include White Persian Cat by famous folk artist Warren Kimball and two white Persian cats looking into a goldfish bowl by late feline portraitist Arthur Hayer. A Persian is the perfect cat breed for anyone that might be worried about their cat running amok and destroying their home while they are away. Not overly curious or adventurous by nature, the Persian is trustworthy in that it won't be caught shredding your ferns or sabotaging things other inside your house. This breed is calm and quiet, and if it wasn't for all that fur, you might not even notice they are there half the time, with their kitty manners always intact. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time, goodbye!